Hello, my name is Taylor Nielsen, I'm Nicholas Wallace, and we are computer engineering students here at Utah State University. For the, today, we'll be showing you our, our senior design project, which is the Card Barn, which is an automatic card storage system that is modeled after the barn here at the USU Library. Now the barn on campus is designed to store large quantities of books very quickly, autonomously. And for today, we will be using it to store cards in this smaller system. Okay. So the plan, uh, the problem that this system is designed to solve is when you collect trading cards, it's very easy to get several thousand cards or even just a few hundred, which is very tedious to go through and figure out exactly what cards you have and where they are in this big stack of cards. So what this system does, which I'll go over briefly and we'll talk about more in a moment, is you put cards in on this end, such as the ones I'm holding here, and then uh, the system performs optical character recognition, or OCR, on the cards in order to determine what each of the cards is. After the cards have been determined, they'll be put into a bin much like this, which is sized for the cards, and can then be picked up by the uh, manipulator system here in the back, similar to how a forklift operates. So we'll now go over the feeder, uh, the feeder part of the system where a user will take a deck of cards, either this or much more, as you can see, because it's very tall, to accept a large quantity of cards at once. The user takes the deck of cards and places it here um, on this wheel right here, uh, face up so the camera can actually take a picture of the card, otherwise you might have a few little issues. Um, and then the servo runs this bottom wheel in order to pull cards out. And the top wheel is there in order to prevent a, the other cards from coming through as well. Once the card has come out of the wheels, a servo, which is not currently attached, will stop the card here on this little ramp, and the camera, located up at the top, will then take an image of the card. Once the camera has taken the image, it is sent to the Raspberry Pi over the ribbon cable, and the Raspberry Pi then uh, performs OCR, or the optical character recognition mentioned earlier, to figure out exactly what the card is. And once the card has been classified, the servo releases it and lets it fall into the bin right here. All right, now I will explain the optical character recognition that we'll be using. For our project, we'll be using two different kinds of software. The first one is called OpenCV, which is a relatively common image processing library. The second one is called Tesseract, which, is, which uses a neural network to identify the different kinds of text that are on our card. Now, for our project, we only need to worry about the top left of the image, which is where the title is located. Now, the first step that we need to do is to make the image as clear as possible for our neural network to enhance our accuracy. And this, the way we do this is by increasing the contrast between the background and the foreground color. To do that, we use a technique called thresholding, which is where if the color is above a certain pixel value, we make it dark. If it is below a certain pixel value, it is white. And when we do that, it allows us to get a clearer image and then we expand this small text and run our neural network and get our text from it. Once the cards have been classified by the, uh, the OCR and stored in the bins, the bins are then able to be pulled back by this little manipulator. Do we have a motor here attached to a timing belt which then pulls it back and then is able to be slid over to the shelf is over here. This is then able to be raised and lowered accordingly in order to store the bin in on the shelf. Oops, it is much better when the motors are actually controlling it. The bin is then able to be stored in there and then lowered a bit and then retracted much like a forklift does. And then this is able to move over to the next bin, extend, pick up, pull out, and then return to here in order to accept the next cards from the feeder. Now I'll explain our graphical user interface, or GUI, that we have developed for our project. This GUI is a collection of different buttons that will allow us to control and see the state of our project. The first button is our Begin Import button. When we click that, it signals to our hopper mechanism to begin importing our cards. Next, we have our Search button, which when we click it, we can see three different categories of things that we can change. The first one are choosing the different sets 
of the cards. Now the sets are dependent on when the cards were released and printed. The next one defines the type of card that we want and we can also go through and select different parts of it. Finally, we can select the color of the card. And once we've made our selection, we can click Submit Selection. And what that does is populate on our top left our different cards that we can choose. Once we have those cards, we can look through them. And the user will be able to then click on any of these images to make a request to let the, them know where these cards are located. Once they have finished looking through the cards, they can click Stop Search and then make another submission request. Next, we have our Stats button. The Stats button has the overall stats of our system, including the total cards, the colors, the different types that there are, and their rarity values. When you're finished with our stats, we can click Finished to end that. Finally, we have our Options button. This Options button is purely cosmetic. It allows us to select the theme of these pop-up windows and the color of the buttons. Once we have made our selection request, we click Finished. And if we open that again, we can see the different theme and button. Finally, when you are completely finished or the user is finished, they can click Stop to end processing on the project. That concludes our brief overview of the Card Barn. We hope you enjoyed it and understand a little bit more about how our project is supposed to work. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us using the contact information currently found on our design poster. And we hope to see you on Senior Design Night.